Hi again! In this video, we're going to create the most common WordPress templates. We'll mark all the templates so that we can see which one is used by WordPress when we load different pages of our website. Let's start with the index.html. We'll add a bootstrap well element with the name index.php. Save the template. Because our next WordPress template is single.php, we use save as to create single.html for the index.html template. For all non-indexed HTML templates, we uncheck the master page on the WordPress site action on the body element. We set index.html as the master page. We rename the content of the well element to single.php. Let's save the template. Our next WordPress template is page.php. So we again use save as to create page.html from the single.html template. We rename the content of the well element to page.php. We save the template. Let's create archive.php. Use save as to create archive.html from the single.html template. We rename the content of the well element to archive.php. We save the template. Then use save as to create search.html from the archive.html template. We rename the content of the well element to search.php. Save the template. Save as the search.html template to create the 404.html. We rename the content of the well element and save the template. It's now time to export the theme. Let's have a look at the new files we have in our theme folder. We now have 404.php, archive.php, 
single.php, search.php, and page.php ready for use. Now from the browser, reload the home page. We now have index.php used for the home page. Page.php used for the pages. Archive.php used for the categories. and single.php used for single posts. Let's do a search to see search.php in action. All our templates are now in position and in our next video, we're going to customize some of them.